Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. And in honor of that, I'm going to be teaching you one of my favorite card tricks ever. Now, this trick goes by many names. Uh, some people call it Red Hot Mama. Some people call it Chicago Opener. And it's also known as one of the greatest card tricks of all time. And yeah, so I'm going to perform it first and then I'm going to teach you how to do it. Alright, so my spectator is going to start by choosing any card they want. Let's say they want this card right here. It is the Ace of Clubs. Alright, so now I'm just going to go through the deck and the spectator can say stop wherever they want. Let's say they say stop right here. So I'm going to take their card, the Ace of Clubs, and I'm going to put it right where they said stop, just like that. Now look, if I snap my fingers and when I go through the deck, then one card and one card only should turn blue. Now, my spectator probably has an idea of what the card is by now, right? It is their card, the Ace of Clubs. Now look, if I can do it once, I can do it twice. I'm gonna take their card, the Ace, and put it right here. And they would ideally put their hand on top of it, but I'm just gonna put this right on top in place of my spectator's hand. Now I'm gonna go through the deck, and again, they would say stop wherever they wanted. Let's say they say stop right here. All right, so they stopped at the 10 of hearts. So now they would memorize the 10 of hearts. Now look, if I snap my fingers, the same thing should happen. As I go through the deck, then the 10 of hearts should turn blue. Wait, there doesn't seem to be a blue card in the deck, right? That's because the blue card is right here. Their card, the 10 of hearts. All right, so here's how you perform the trick. So you're gonna need a normal deck of cards, any color, and then you're going to need one card from another deck, which is a different color. So any other color and one card, any card. All right, so then you're just gonna take that card and then you're gonna go through the deck and find the same card that matches. All right, so I have two 10 of hearts from another colored deck. All right, so now this is happening before the trick starts. All right, so you're just gonna take it and put it on the bottom of the deck. So how the, sh how the setup should be is you have your normal deck right here, and then you have the 10 of hearts from the same deck on the bottom, and then the 10 of hearts from the different deck on the very bottom. All right, so normal deck, 10 of hearts from the same deck, and 10 of hearts from a different deck, or whatever card you're using. It doesn't have to be the 10 of hearts. All right, so once you're in this position, you're ready to walk up to your spectator and perform the trick. Now you can do false shuffles and you can do a normal shuffle too, but make sure to keep uh, the two cards on the bottom of the deck. All right, now you're gonna start by having your spectator pick a card. So let's say they pick this one right here. So it is the five of clubs. Now it's fine if you see it, it doesn't really matter. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put their card on the table and just like that. And then you're just gonna take out small packets of the cards and put it on the t on the table just like this and have them say stop wherever they want. All right, so you're just gonna keep doing this wherever they say stop. And it's, it's important that you take the package from the top of the deck. All right, so like that. So let's say they say stop right here. Then you're gonna take their selection, put it face down where they said stop and put the pile in your hand on top, all right? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, when I snap my fingers and when I go through the deck, then there should be one card that's a different color. And then you go through the deck and show that there's one card and one card only that's a different color. Now, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take all the cards on top of the blue card and put it on the bottom of the deck, all right? So you spread through the deck and then you show that there's one blue card. You take everything on top of the blue card and put it on the bottom, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a double lift. Now at this position, you have the 10 of hearts and then you have their selection right underneath, all right? So you're just gonna do a double lift and then you're gonna show that their card turned blue. Now you're gonna flip the double over and you're gonna take the top card, which is the 10 of hearts, but you don't wanna show that and put it on the table and have them put their hand on top of the card, just like that, just to create like 
um, a sense that you can't touch their card and their card is like protected or whatever. So we have the Ten of Hearts right here. They think it's the Five of Clubs or whatever their selection is. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a Hindu shuffle and you're going to force the bottom card on them. So the bottom card is the Ten of Hearts from the actual deck. All right. Now, basically, you're just going to go through the deck just like this. Take out packets from the top. Just like that. And have them say stop. Now, I'm going to link an in-depth tutorial for the Hindu Shuffle. Uh, so if you don't know how to do it, just watch that first. But basically, you're just going to do that. Wherever they say stop, then show the bottom card, which is the Ten of Hearts. Now, you're going to say that the same thing should happen. And then you're going to put that right there. And then you're going to snap and pretend to look for another blue card, which is the Ten of Hearts. But then there's not going to be a blue card, right? So you just want to do some acting and pretend that there's supposed to be a blue card. But then you're going to be like, oh wait, but there's a blue card right there under your hand, right? And then they lift up their hand and then you show that the Ten of Hearts, their second selection, was under their hand the whole time. Alright, so I'm going to review this pretty quickly one more time. So you want to have your normal deck and then you want to have the Ten of Hearts from your uh, normal deck and then the Ten of Hearts or the same card as this, as this one from another deck. All right. And how you're going to start is in this position. You're going to have them choose a card and whatever they pick, just put it down and then go through the deck. Packets like this, have them say stop, wherever they say stop, take their card, put it right there, put the packet on top. Now you want to snap your fingers or do a magical gesture, whatever you want. And then you're going to go through the deck and show the card. Now you're going to take all the cards on top of their card, on top of the blue card, put it down, and then you're going to do a double lift. And then you're going to show that their card appears to have changed color. So then you're going to flip the double over, put it down, have them put their hand on top. And then you're going to do a Hindu shuffle just like this and force the bottom card on them, which is the Ten of Hearts. Now put it down and you're going to act like the Ten of Hearts is supposed to turn blue in the deck. And then you want to do some acting and pretend that it's not there. And then you're going to show that under their hand was their card, the Ten of Hearts. So guys, I really hope you liked this video. This is a really good card trick and one of my favorites to perform. So thank you again for 100 subscribers and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.